Hey guys, here's a video on how to disassemble your Nexus controller. I made this video for everyone who ordered my custom thumbsticks. Here's the left stick. This one's a little bit more short and stubby. It's to make movements a little bit more quick and twitchy. Here's the right stick. I have a more narrow shaft and an extension. This is for more precision aiming and so you get more usable range of motion out of the stick. So let's start with the back. Now there's going to be eight screws. I already unscrewed them for time's sake. And there might be certain parts on my controller that's a little bit different than yours because mine is a pre-production prototype. I'll just put that off to the side. Okay, so the main thing is there is this ribbon cable over here and there are one, two, three, four screws. So first thing, gently unclip this ribbon cable. Now this is a little bit of a delicate part so don't overdo it, just be gentle. Uh, you could also take off these. If you just pull them out, just so they don't get in the way, the rumble packs. Just remember which side they go on. Okay, so let's take out these screws. This part could get a little fumbly over here. Okay, so you have that board out this off to the side. Just take out these modules, just simply snap them off. And the way I like to do this, as I get this part, this is the left stick. So remember the more short stubby one goes up here. And the right stick goes over here. Also note on the right stick, there is this little tiny Let's see if it'll focus. There's this little tiny rod, and I did that as a reinforcement because this thing is kind of narrow and it is a 3D print, so it's not as durable as regular plastic. It's pretty durable though, you won't have any issues with it, but I just added this little shaft over here just as a reinforcement. So that actually slips into a little tiny hole that is located right here. So let me just show you how that goes in goes in like that, the whole thing just registers and snaps in. So let's go back to this part. So again, short stubby one, goes right over here. This one with the rod goes right over here. What you do is you just kind of, first you aim for one and then you get the other. So I usually like to get the right stick in first. Then the left stick. You can already get that ribbon cable back in. So it's just pretty much in reverse. Now what I like to do also, another trick, is to spin it backwards and you're gonna feel a little, a little click, like a little snap. And then when you screw it the other way, that's how you know it's actually in the threads. Because if you just screw straight in, sometimes you could cross thread, and these are just plastic. So you could cross thread it, and that'll, that'll kind of damage it, and then eventually you might just have a loose screw in that area that won't be able to tighten all the way. So just go backwards, you're gonna feel a little bit of a click, and then you can just go forward.
get the rumbles back in. just snaps right back in place. So you just put those eight screws back in and you're good to go. And for all the people wondering what's with the shape of the thumbsticks, it's just basically works around the ergonomics of your thumb. So when you push back and forth, you naturally move your thumb like that, but side to side, it stays pretty fixed. So that's why some people like dome thumbsticks is because they like the feeling of it kind of rolling when they're pulling at it and pushing but a lot of people don't like it because you get you lose the stability when you're going side to side and your finger kind of eventually slips off the thumbstick but it feels really good on the side to side movements so what i did is i just pretty much made a hybrid so it's a dome and at the same time it's one of the cupped kind of shapes that more of an xbox has and it just hybridizes that shape goes with the ergonomics of your finger it just feels a lot more natural as it moves around you can see the shafts so that's more narrow shafts. Now you're getting not only an extension, but a little bit more range of movement. And this one, you get less range for a more snappy, responsive 8080.